everyone welcome back to my channel monique's house of creations and i'm back with a little small tutorial i have a soap dispenser in shape of a shoe that i had picked up from roses discount store i live down here in tampa florida and i was just browsing through the store and i saw this shoe and i'm like into shoes so I was so cute, I just couldn't resist. Um, it was, of course, I said disc to Rose's discount, so it was reasonable as far as the price. I just couldn't resist it. So I had this shoe for a while. Um, as you can see, it's two ninety nine. I paid for it, so I definitely I couldn't leave it there. And I'm I'm going to say I had this shoe for maybe going on. It could be this could be the second year. So you already see the drama I didn't had with it. So in me picking the shoe up, I actually did want to use this as a soap dispenser. And me using it as a soap dispenser, as you can see, the result of the hill broke me pushing down on it. So my next thing was, okay, I just want it to be decorative. Like, I really want this. Like, it was just like, I just could not. Like, like, just throw it away. Because at this point, I knew I couldn't go out and get another one or something similar to this. So I took my handy liquid fusion that I just seem like I just can't stay away from it now. <laughs> so, and in the first clip, I just wanted to say that those little pieces that I took off before I clinked it, which that was one thing I didn't do, maybe. And that's why I ended up doing it in the first clip was I sprayed it with the alcohol to clean the surface. And those that little bit of residue I took off, that is actually glue, E6000 glue I took off from that. And that's the reason why I just let me just go ahead and spray it. And right here, you see me, I'm just using um, a paint pen. It's a silver metallic paint pen. I believe I picked that up. I could have picked that up from Joann's. Not sure, but I have another paint pen that I did pick up from Amazon. Um, again, I am now in my new place. So that pen um, <laughs> has more than likely has to be unpacked. I I am working with minimum right now. And most everything I have is in storage. I am working with minimum. So this is, I believe, a paint pen I did pick up from Joann's, which works great. It's like an oil-based pen, and it leaves a nice shine. And with this pen... I you do have to do a second coat, but with this project, I did not. I just actually did the one coat and and I won't be putting gems on the op the well the it's like right under the shoe. And you'll see I'll just gonna be actually just covering up the the two side surfaces and the back surface because once again this is not being used for for soap this is just decorative only so because i just wanted to cover up that little blemish where the crack is and the crack is showing because it's still of course you can see it yeah guys that's all that this is it's just a little small little project and this is me going in with putting the gems on and this is just me actually just putting the gems on i'm not using any type of any just i'm just slapping them on there just so it could be shiny and these don't these gems right here, these are chrome gems that I'm using. Cause I'm just wanna give that silver and black effect 
again, which are my colors. Um, and I'm going to just trim out the top of the shoe where the gray is. I'm just going to do a quick trim on that. Um, once again, not being used. So just real quick, just to throw up in my bathroom. So guys, if you are liking the video and enjoying the content, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I just want to say I am appreciating all the love and the feedback and the comments. Thank you guys so much. And I am really enjoying it. feel like when I did this video, it's like I'm getting back into the groove. It's been a couple of weeks. And I've just been all over the place. I just want to get really settled in and getting back into doing what I like to do most is make videos and just do tutorials. That's what I'm enjoying to do. So... Once again, please like and subscribe. And right here, I'm just trimming out the line between the heel and the part of the shoe. And once I do that, that line around, I'm just going to go in with putting the gems in. So, yeah. Um, I do both here. I do scattered and I do, um, honey, the honeycomb method wherever I possibly can at this point. So as you can see, it's not going to be something that's totally even being that I have to outline that hill. So Wherever I start at, it's just going to be. And I'm only using the one size. So I'm not using 10 different sizes. It doesn't matter as far as I'm concerned with this project. If there's spaces or not. Because, again, it's going to be sitting in one place. And that's why I just chose not to go in on the inside. It's it's going to be fine as far as I'm concerned. So there's yeah, there's no rhyme or reason as far as this project goes. It's just I just want to get those gems on there. This is me just trying to get back into the groove of things. So I will be bringing you more videos. And I'm seeing that you guys like the um, DIY, the, like the art decor. So um, my next project will probably more than likely be working with art decor because right now, being that I moved, I'm going to need that. So um, again, guys, thank you for all the love that I am receiving. I'm really It makes me smile all the time. I love it, love it, love it. I appreciate you guys. So um, next video will definitely be something in home decor. I'm guessing this is too, actually. So, yeah, I, that'll be more up my alley for right now. So, yeah, like I said, I'm... I'm just basically just trying to cover this hill, period, and place it. This project took maybe, this project probably would have, if I didn't have to move, I probably could have done this project more than likely in one sitting because it didn't take long to put those gems on the hill and do a outline on the top with the gems. Not quite enough to do the whole thing, so. 
But I was happy how it turned out. And where where I placed it at for the video, for the end of the video, is more than likely that's not where it's going to be sitting at. I'm going to have to get some shelving for my bathroom. So right now it's just sitting on the kitchen, I'm sorry, on the bathroom sink. And that's why I do have it placed that for right now. But it'll definitely be, once I get some shelving in the bathroom, it'll definitely be on one of the shelves. But for now, that's where I have it at. Again, guys, I just can't stop thanking you enough for the love and appreciating the love. And please continue to come back and watch more videos of Monique's House of Creations because that's what it's about to be, a House of Creations. So thank you guys and continue on my journey with me. And there she is. She's set up, posted up for right now, temporary spot. I'm trying to get the money shot to you. And endless guys cannot thank you enough for watching. Stay blessed and safe. Always thank you. Much love. Bye.